Hey guys, Sock here from Socky Tech and in today's video we will be sharing over 50 plus tips, tricks and hidden features for the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 5. The Flip 5 is the best flipping phone in the world right now and it is full of deep and rich features and I want you guys to maximize your ownership of this fantastic product. Or if you're looking to buy one, this is the video to watch to learn as much as possible. We are going to cover every nook and cranny of this device in this video. And we will also look at all the customization options of that new and exciting covered display. So let's dive in. By the way, if you wanna buy the Z Fold 5 at the lowest pricing and with the best incentives, Links to buy one are gonna be down below. All right, so the very first thing you wanna do is you wanna make sure you secure your smartphone. So go to the settings and then scroll down to where it says battery and device care. You click on it and over here, you're gonna see an option that says device protection. Now you wanna tap on this one, it's gonna be off by default, but all you have to do is tap on turn on, read the text and tap on turn on, and you can see you now have an option to scan your phone against any malware and viruses. Your brand new phone is probably gonna be pretty clear, but you can run a quick scan that is gonna go through all the applications to make sure your phone is nice and clear. I'm gonna go back real quick, and one more thing you wanna do going forward is you wanna tap on this settings right here, go to device protection settings, and make sure auto scan apps daily and auto scan when installing new apps is in fact enabled. So that's just gonna be another layer of security. Now I will let you know, some phones may not have this option. Some carriers remove these options. I have an unlocked phone and I happen to have this option. If you don't have it, your carrier probably has one in the form of an app. But if you have it, make sure you enable it. The next thing I'm gonna show you has to do with your contacts, and this is gonna look very cool on the cover screen. So basically, just go to your phone, and I'm assuming you got this phone to make some calls, not just live on Facebook. So go to your phone application, go to contacts, and pick any contact. I'm gonna just pick a test contact right here. I'm gonna tap on I. So here's my test contact. What you are able to do is many things to customize individual contacts your friends, family members, whatever. The biggest thing is when you edit, and when you tap on the icon, you are able to pull a photo from the gallery to assign to that contract, or even take a brand new photo, use an AR emoji from here, which is going to be a live emoji, or you can use these pre-existing stickers, as you can see, and there are just so many of them, it is absolutely insane. Okay, you can see we have so many options to customize uh, your contacts. Now that's not everything. Let me just pick this one right here as an example. On top of that, you are able to tap on more and you are able to add a video call background. So when somebody calls you, you have the option to tweak the main and the cover screen. So if somebody calls you and, and you have the phone folded, you can tap on background here and you can have this video in the background. So on the front, you are gonna have the name of your contact, the image of your contact that we just picked, and in the background, a video is going to play. Of course, nobody's gonna select this boring video. What you are able to do is you're able to tap plus, and you can select any video that you downloaded, that you shot as a call background video wallpaper. It can even be a trailer for a movie. This is insanity. But the best part is, like I said, when you go in here, edit call background, you are able to select call backgrounds for the main screen and the cover screen. On the cover screen, it looks even more amazing with a custom image and a custom video in the background. So you get a custom experience for any contact. Remember, you can do this for any contact individually. And finally, tap this again and tap on change ringtone and vibration. And from here, you can actually change the ringtone for individual contacts, further customizing and making that phone ultra playful. So that's that, customize your contacts. We're gonna have many more cover screen tips and tricks in just a little bit. Stay tuned and you're gonna be amazed. Now the next thing that's very cool is you can change all the icons, okay? So you can download free icon packs right from Samsung, you pinch the screen, you go to themes, 
And then at the bottom, you tap on icons. And what I like to do, I tap on top, and then I tap on all here, and I tap on free. That's gonna give you all the free icon packs. So let's use this one as an example. I'm gonna download this. Again, all this stuff is free, right from Samsung's own icon pack store. Tap on apply, takes a couple seconds to add those icons to your screen, I mean to your system, and look at what it looks like. Beautiful, look at that. Absolutely gorgeous, and it's all free. So make sure you do that, and one more thing, uh, if you change the icon packs and you wanna go back to the default, just so you know, again, you pinch themes, then you tap on menu, you go to my stuff right here, then you go to icons, and you can pick the default. I'm gonna tap that right now so you can see how that works. But you can download thousands of icon packs and then go back and forth with whatever option that you have. Now, one more thing I like to do is take a look at this. Right now, my home screen is this screen with a bunch of icons here. So my wallpaper is hidden behind the actual icons, the bar, the weather. What I like to do, if I have a very nice, gorgeous wallpaper, and if I wanna showcase that to myself all the time, I, I pinch the screen, I scroll over, and I create a brand new clear home screen wallpaper. So in this case, it's gonna look like this. You're gonna tap on plus, and then on the top, you're gonna to see a home icon. You tap on it, now that becomes your home screen. So when you unlock the phone, or if I'm in an application, and if I go back, it is gonna dump me into the home screen where I can see that lion wallpaper or any wallpaper that you want to see all the time. Some wallpapers are just too beautiful and you wanna put them on display for yourself to enjoy. All right, let's keep moving on. We have a lot to cover. We're gonna make sure you master this device. All right, the next thing you wanna do is you wanna make sure to check your battery. You paid a lot of money for this phone, so you wanna make sure that the battery in the phone is actually healthy and not defective. So to accomplish this, all you do is you go to the Samsung members application that is gonna be pre-installed with most Samsung phones. You go to Samsung members, then you go over to support at the bottom once it is loaded, and then you tap on phone diagnostics, and then you're gonna see all these options here. Just look for the battery, okay? Don't tap on test all. That's gonna take forever. Battery status right here. And what you want to see is you wanna see the normal, and also when it says life, you want that to say good. If it says anything else, you wanna return the phone and get a replacement. So that's number one. By the way, you can also go to the settings, okay, and scroll down and go to battery and device care and also scroll down and tap on diagnostics to launch the same exact menu uh, from here. By tapping this button, okay, it'll take you to the same spot I just showed you guys. That's number one. Number two, you have the option to actually protect the battery even if it is good. So go to the settings, all right, and then go to battery and device care. Under settings, go to battery. At the bottom, you wanna tap on more battery savings, and at the bottom, you're gonna see this option known as protect battery. If you enable this, what's gonna happen is it is gonna extend the lifespan of your battery. I recommend you do this if you know you're gonna keep this phone for many years to come. Some people just keep their phones for a year or two. In that case, this is not a big deal, but long-term users should protect the battery to increase the lifespan. But remember, when you enable this feature, you can only charge your phone up to 85% maximum charge. It does not go up to 100%, and believe it or not, that is going to actually extend the lifespan. So that's that. Now let's talk about something that has to do with the flip phone specifically. So we are gonna go to the phone application and then we're gonna tap on the settings on the corner, go right inside, and you can see we have the flip options. These are the cool options. So basically, if the phone is flipped shut and somebody calls you, you can unflip the phone to answer the call automatically, all right? You do not have to press the answer button you simply unflip the phone and it takes the call. This is very cool. And also when the phone is flipped shut, as you know, you are gonna be using the speaker phone by default. If you enable this option and if you 
unflip the phone while you're on the phone, it is going to disable speaker and it's going to go right into the actual earpiece. And finally, this is on by default. If you are on a call in this mode, you simply have to flip the phone shut and it's just going to end the call. The only one I'm not going to enable is this one right here, but the rest are amazing. Now, one more thing I want you guys to set up is go to the settings, okay? Th this phone can be used for multimedia consumption. It's got a great display and also great speakers. So you want to set them up properly to get the maximum value. So go to settings, go to advanced features, all the way down, go to video brightness and enable the bright mode. When you tap on the bright mode, at the bottom, all the compatible apps that work with the bright mode are going to become available and you can uncheck or enable them. Basically, when you enable the bright mode, it says it right here, the screen increases the brightness and makes colors more vibrant. By doing so, the videos are going to simply look much better. So that's number one for multimedia consumption. Number two, go to settings, scroll, scroll to sounds and vibration, go inside, at the bottom, go to sound quality and effects and make sure Dolby Atmos is enabled both for movies and videos and also for gaming, as you can see, to get the best sound quality from these speakers right here. Also, when you tap on this guy, you can individually choose which one you want to pick. You can go for movies, music, or voice. Sometimes when you choose the auto mode, it doesn't switch automatically for some reason. So if you know you're watching a movie, just come in here, boom, go to the movie. If you're listening to a podcast, boom, you go for voice. You can see it says makes voices loud and clear. So don't forget you have these awesome options in your phone. Now we are about to dive in to the cover display in a second. One more thing I'm gonna show you guys has to do with the lock screen. So basically, let me just double tap. That's gonna turn on the phone and you can double tap to wake it up. That's also a tip. But uh, here's a lock screen and this can be customized properly. It is different from the outer lock screen. So that's gonna be customized separately as I'm gonna show you in a minute. Let's do this one first. So basically you go to the settings and then you go into the lock screen and you can see we have the lock screen here. You tap on edit, all right? And that brings the editing options. So first thing you can do is you can tap right here and you can pick a brand new clock. You can re resize the clock. You can pick different colors. You can even tap on this one and color gets adapted from the wallpaper. You can change the font for the uh, clock, as you can see. And also at the end here, you can pick from solid colors if that's what you want, okay? That's one thing you can do. Then you can tap here and change the wallpaper. Let's just pick this one for now, okay, as an example. So that's the new lock screen wallpaper. Then you can tap here and change the shortcut. Okay, so I just picked the calculator application over here. I can pick the flashlight. And then finally, at the bottom, it says contact information. I can actually put in a signature. So I can put my channel name, my name, or even my contact information. So if the phone gets lost and somebody opens it up, they'll see at the bottom an email or maybe a phone number to call. You can write the instructions right in here, okay? You can add a lot of characters as you can see. So these are the modifications available on the lock screen and they're great. And also if you tap on this one here, you can go from nothing, icon only, or details for your notifications. I like this one here, nice and clean, also shows you what's going on. So that's the lock screen over here. Now let's also move on and talk about everything you can do on the cover display because I want you guys to completely master the outer display, which is amazing. And then I'm gonna add a couple more things to do at the end after we are done with the cover Stop display. It. All right, let me give you the quick basics. Here's the cover display. You can double tap, it's gonna turn off the display. You can double tap again and that's gonna turn on the display. And by the way, if the screen is turned off, a single tap will give you a quick glance at the clock, weather, date, and the battery. But a double tap will wake it up completely. Now, if you want to access your widgets, you swipe to the left, but it is going to ask you to unlock the phone with your PIN number or your fingerprint using the fingerprint sensor on the side over here. Okay, so let's go inside. That's going to swipe over to the widgets. 
and you can go through all the widgets just like this as you can see now when you go back to the home display and if you swipe to the right you are going to be able to access any notifications and also if you swipe down from the top you are going to be able to get access to your quick toggles and your brightness slider now one more thing when you do go over to your widgets okay if you swipe up anywhere on the screen at the bottom area here it is going to take you back to the home display those are just the basics there's so much more other thing you can do on the cover display is you can pinch the screen and that's going to give you a preview of all your widgets from here you can access specific widgets let me pinch again okay and then i can go to the uh the, the weather widget whatever or i can just swipe through just like this now at any given time when you are on any widget you can press and hold and that's going to allow you to remove a particular widget okay or you can add more so if you don't want this tap it removes it and if you go all the way to the corner you can tap on plus and all the available widgets are going to be visible for you to in fact add them here's one of my favorites that is the stopwatch you can see absolutely beautiful you can swipe down some widgets have double dimension so this is the bottom part that's the top part and you can pause this by the way certain widgets when you're running them and if you swipe up to go to the home screen they're going to give you a small preview at the bottom as you can see which is also clickable and it's going to take you right back to that widget so that is also great let me reset this for a second i'm going to swipe up go to the home screen on the cover display and i can press and hold right here and from here i can pick between my various cover display wallpapers and individual setup so i can go with this one now this is this is my home screen on the cover display as you can see press and hold and i can go down again you have all these options okay so these are everything you can do on the actual cover display additionally you do have the ability to access certain applications on the cover display the ones that are supported right now are these five applications so you are able to launch the youtube application and in fact watch some movies right here so if i press this guy it's going to launch that i can start to actually watch that on the cover display now one more thing you can also do netflix so if i tap on netflix it's going to log me right in and from here i can in fact browse and play the movies i can swipe backward to go back out you can do messages and you can do maps as you can see so that's fantastic now let's see all the other options that are also available and of course one of the great benefits of having this outer display is you can use the main cameras as a selfie camera so if i just double press the power button it launches the camera and from there i can use the volume up and down as you can see to take a photo so because this is available this phone takes better selfies than many other smartphones out there because it is able to use the main cameras to do so and of course while you are in the camera you can swipe left and right to go to the video or the portrait mode so you can in fact change the shooting modes and in every single mode on the top right you can tap on this button and you'll see you are able to change certain settings like the photo orientation and all that good stuff that's all going to be based on you so lots of options right from the cover display to access all the other options available for the cover screen you're going to have to unfold the phone and then you go to the settings once you do that you scroll down and you go to cover screen you click on it and first i'm going to show you something really cool when you tap on manage these are the same wallpapers we just scrolled through on the cover display and you can see if there's anything you don't like here you can remove it okay so let's remove a couple of these guys that are not my cup of tea so remove remove and that's what we have i have eight of them right now however on top of that you can add more wallpapers to the cover screen the possibilities are endless these are the stock options right here okay so here's one option that's the stock option that's exactly what you're going to see on the top you can even tap over here at the plus icon and you can show the battery icon on the cover display 
you can tap on this guy and you can change the shortcut to some other app that you use all the time. And then you can tap on this guy and you can pick between different clocks as you can see and even change the color of those clocks. It's all going to be up to you and even change the font of those clocks. Okay, so that's something new I just added. But even beyond that, there is something really amazing happening here. So here's a gallery. So if you download wallpapers or if you have wallpapers you want to use on the cover display, you go to the gallery and let me pick this guy right here. Okay, then you tap on done. And then this is my blank slate. From here, I can tap on the clock. I can say no clock. So there's no clock right now. And then what I can do is I can tap here. I can change it to flashlight. Okay. And then I can go to frame and add these unique frames to my photo. And I can change the color of those frames. As you can see, this is crazy. The level of customization I'm getting out of this. And when I do pick a color, I can change the opacity of that color, as you can see. So going back over here, I can make this a little bit lighter so it's see-through. Or if you want to ultra customize it, you can go to alphabet. And let's say your name starts with S, like Saki. I go down and I pick the S option. So it gives you a nice design that kind of looks like S on the cover display on top of your wallpaper with the shortcut you desire. And like I said, you can turn off the clock if you don't want it or I can add a clock to the side if that's what I want. In this case, I don't want a clock. And also when it comes to the frame, I want this one. This is the one that I like right here. Color black is fine, but I can go to this. And then finally, you can go here, tap on filter and add various filters to your cover display. That's going to be up to you. The level of customization here is crazy. So you tap on done and that is going to be added to your cover screen displays. One more thing you can do with the cover screen is over here you can access widgets. We are able to access the widgets in the home screen, but you can also turn them on and off right here. So if I don't want the direct dial option, I turn it off right here. Recent calls, I can turn it off right here. I'm going to keep that there for a minute. You can even reorder them from here. So I can have the weather at the top, as you can see, and go back. All the changes I do here are going to reflect on the cover display, on the cover screen. And of course, you can enable or disable notifications to show up on the cover display and all that good stuff. And I do want to show you one thing real quick. Look at this. I added a bunch of new wallpapers here. So now when I go back to the outer display, let me fold this. You are going to see them available. Okay. So press and hold, log in, log in. And you can see the ones I added are right here along with the ones that I already had there. This is just incredible. And also one widget here that's very important is the recent calls widget. So this one is going to show up right here. It's going to show any missed recent calls. And if you want to dial a number without unfolding your phone, you tap this button and you are going to get access to your dialer. And from here, I can make a quick call to anybody that I want. And it's going to use the speaker phone to manage those calls. This is incredible. Let's go back in. Back inside, you go to the settings. Again, you go to cover screen for all cover screen needs. And under widgets, I wanted to show you guys, you have the ability to access the apps from where you can enable or disable those applications like YouTube and Netflix I showed you out there. These are the official apps allowed on the cover screen. Now there is a module you can download under widgets, okay? known as the launcher. If you enable this, you can basically put any application you want on the cover display. To get this module, you go to the Galaxy Store and then you are going to be able to, you are going to download Good Luck application. Okay. And once you install Good Luck, you're going to open it. And once you open it, you are going to go into Life Up and you are going to get Multi Star by tapping on it. Once you get it, when you tap it, it says, I love Galaxy foldables. Okay. So when I tap on this, I can go to launcher widget. And from here, enable the launcher widget. And then you can add any application you want on the cover display. 
even though it says some apps are not going to be optimized for the cover screen. So let me show you what this one looks like. Let's go out real quick. Okay. Log in. Press and hold. Okay, let's go over here, or we can pinch it like I said. And here is the good lock module and all the applications I can, in fact, access from the cover display. And then you can swipe back to go back in there. Here's the calendar. Here's the clock. It's going to be up to you. You can basically use any app that you want. Samsung does give you that ability as an add-on option, but it is not fully optimized just yet. All right, so one more thing I want to talk about before we come to the end of the video is if you go to the settings, okay, uh, if you go into display and if you scroll down, you can go to navigation bar and from here you can go for the button navigation, which will give you the three buttons, you know, home, recents, and the back button versus the one I've been using the whole time, swipe gestures, which is this one where you can swipe up to go home swipe up to bring the recents and swipe from the out to the inside to go back. So to go back, you just go like this. Okay. So I like that now because it's very smooth, but a lot of people like the button navigation. So you can go with that one as well. But when you are in the swipe gestures here, you can see there's a bar at the bottom. You can actually disable that bar. So it doesn't take any extra space on the screen and you get that full view. So now I don't have a gesture hint. All right, so that brings us to the end of this video. If you do have any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below. And of course, stay tuned for more videos to come with even more details. All right, guys, for now, have a fantastic day.